Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for October 24th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Selfish High Heels by Bill Murphy. Um, no idea what the title is referencing. I assume it's a song. Usually Bill's are songs, but um, not familiar with that one. Uh, but this is a German Whisper Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some lines in the grid and digits that are adjacent along the lines must have a difference of at least five. And we've done a lot of German Whispers puzzles in gas. Um, I think I actually mentioned, um, oh, this was on my Patreon. I actually mentioned that I set an unusual number of German Whispers compared to everybody else, and I believe I'm responsible for like two thirds of the gas German whispers. Um, but Bill is uh, closing the gap, I guess, a little bit. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite things to set. But um, as a reminder, uh, because digits must differ by at least five along the lines, um, if we have a low digit here, in order to have a difference of five, we're gonna to have to have a high digit next to it and vice versa. Uh, we can also never have five on a German Whispers line because five less than five is zero and five more than five is 10 and neither of those are options for Sudoku, at least for regular nine by nine Sudoku. So those are the rules and Bill has this pattern of given digits. He's been doing a lot with this sort of thing. And so that's telling us we should start on the edges. Um, the remaining digits in row one are three, four, and nine. And since we need to alternate low, high, low, or high, low, high, we're going to have to put the high digit in the middle with the two low digits next to it. Now on this side, uh, three can go next to eight or nine. Four can only go next to nine. And there's already an eight in this box, so this is going to have to be nine. And now, because this is nine, this can't be nine, and there's a nine in the box, this has to be eight, and that's going to resolve this. The four has to go to the, next to the nine, the three has to go next to the eight. All right, these are two, three, eight. Again, the higher digit's going to have to go in the middle. And now if we look at this box, we have eight and nine already. So three is ruled out of that cell. This must be a seven next to the two. Um, six is too close. And then next to the three, we could have eight or nine for now. What are we left with here? Three and six we can do from that three. Um, all right, let's continue with this line. Uh, these are one, two, and seven. Seven has to go in the middle. And our high digit here could be six or seven. Our high digit here is eight or nine, and actually we have an eight up here. That's gonna resolve those. These are two and five, those are resolved. Um, I don't think we can resolve this quite yet. Maybe this line will resolve it. Here we have two and then two high digits, seven and nine. Uh, we could have two, three, or four here. We can only have one or two here. That doesn't resolve the seven, as far as I can tell. Uh, I do see we have a seven here and a seven here. So the seven has to go there. And that doesn't resolve the one, two. Uh, this box needs two, three, four. We have three, four here. So this must be the two. And that is going to resolve this. Seven can't go next to three or four. This is also three or four. Uh, these are one, two, and six, and this must be the six because of the one, two there. Uh, and the two here resolves that. All right, let's look what we've got left in these cells. Five, six, seven here. That's going to leave one, two, and eight. Um, eight is going to be in one of these cells to go next to the low digit. So this is not eight. This is low. Uh, that means this is gonna have to be high. It's not six, eight, or nine, so it must be seven. 
7 can only go next to 1 or 2, so this has to be 1 since we already have 2 in the box and the row. It's going to leave a 4 here, which always has to go next to 9. This needs to be a low digit, and we've got 1, 2, 3, so that's another 4 next to another 9. This is 6, and 6 always goes next to 1. This needs to be a high digit. We've got 7, 8, high in here, so another 6, another 1. This is 3 or 4, and so now we know this has to be the 8 next to a 3, because it can't go next to 4. That's going to resolve these. These are 4, 5, and 8. Uh, this is not 6. These are 5, 6, 9. The 9 goes there. All right, and this cell needs to be high, so it is 6 or 8. Can't resolve that yet, because this could be 1 next to the 6. These are 3, 5, and 8. Those are not the digits that I wanted to type. Uh, the 1 here resolves 2, 1. That places a 2 there and a 1 there, so again, this is still not resolved. Um, that's not 8. That's not 3. Got 357 in the column. Uh, this cell needs to be high. So that gives us a 6 8 pair here. So that's going to resolve all of this. Uh, 6 8 pair also resolves this up here. It's going to place a 7 there. Uh, 4 is the last digit here, which resolves these. Uh, the 8 resolves. 6 and 8, 6 and 5. To finish off, we've got 5, 3, and 2. That's the solution. Uh, I really like this puzzle. Um, not that surprising because I like German whispers, but I like the flow of this one. Uh, it's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did it in the comments, and I will see you next time.